We saw some underhand serves, mm -hmm. which is magnificent. But the thing is, everyone wants to copy Sasha, but they can't duplicate Sasha because you actually can win the point from an underhand serve. How do you manage winning the point from an underhand serve? You gotta have some talent. That we know you have, okay. You gotta anticipate well, okay. and you gotta be lucky. And, and you, you know, also, that, like, oh, let's get see? a good look here. Break it down yeah. for us. So first, look. So that, that I, didn't start, go well. I started a very bad one, and yeah. then he went inside out. So then I faked him. So I gave him another chance. Of course, he's gonna go across again. Like oh. I knew, I knew he's gonna go there. That's a good lob, though. Yeah, you that, that, that good was a lucky lob, one. Then I didn't want to miss that. Okay, thank you. And then showman, showman, give it to them. See, this was the tough shot. You had. To, oh, and then what was that behind the back? Yes. Well, I guess. So do you do you? Why don't you show the most the most desirable part? Th that was the most desirable part when you obliterated your racket after that. <sighs> you know, by the way, the ball kid had to come clean up the graphite off the court. I, mean, I, I would be happy to do that if I would be 12. Uh, Honestly, like that's that's a nice thing. Oh, here to we do. go. One, Aye. two. I. You know, you got more power in your breaks than Alcaraz did. You know when Alcaraz did it, like a couple of months ago? That, I mean, but you're... Alcaraz did it like with with some you know, <laughs> two, raw three, power. <laughs> like I don't, I don't want to be underneath. But I tell you what, you did make that fan's life. You gave him the racket afterward, which is pretty That's spectacular. That's what it's all about, you know? See? That's what it's all about, I guess. You do light it up for the fans, which I love. Yeah, because I was playing horrible, so I got to do something. Well, here's a question. I know you enjoy winning. You enjoy giving us a great show. Mm -hmm. But is that a tough balance to tread? Because sometimes you, you, know, you do pick the more exciting shot, which is beautiful for us. But does your mind go back and forth sometimes? Mm, depends. I mean, it depends on the... You know, I set up, my, I set up to set myself a goal, let's mm -hmm. say, during, like, let's say, three months period. Imagine I achieved it within two weeks. Then it's a paradise. You know, then I can do whatever I want. So the tough part is when you're not winning or you're not, you know, getting to your goals and then you feel like, okay, I need to do, you know, you need to push yourself. And I don't like pushing myself. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to work. <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm a really like, you know, you know what they, my team called me, you know, like there's, everyone has its totem, you know, the animals, you know, that they're spiritual animals. Yeah. And then everyone's like, you know, like we have my coach, he's like this, like that, you know, okay. he's a lonely guy. Like either though he has a family and two kids, he's a very, you know, thoughtful so we call him a wolf and they call me garfield you know that little the, the, the fat cat yeah, that eats, eats and sleeps and sleeps all day exactly Very that's good. me like you know <laughs> I, that's and, I, and i'm so proud of it and uh, that's what i'm seeking to be in the next uh once i'm done in the next years when i'm gonna be when i'm gonna i'm at one, one day i have to finish you know unfortunately but yeah i want to be sitting here in maybe 10 years time and still enjoying what i do but it's gonna be over that's gonna be a very sad day when you decide you to never stop. know Honestly, you never know. We, we thought about it. Yes, I will cry. Uh, I'm very emotional. Yeah. I'm crying all the time. Are you an emotional guy? Oh, so much. I'm when crying. was the last time you had a good cry? Did you lose When it? my son told me he loves me. Not to cry, but, you know, like I got emotional. You know, I got emotional to many wow. things. You know, I was, wow. I was, I'm always, like many times, every occasion you tell me, like every, like a big moment in my life, I was, I was always, I was breaking down. So every birthday of my son, I'm crying. My, my coach knows when I'm going to start crying. New Year last year, me and my coach cried for no reason. We've been talking about something. I don't even, I don't, you know, of course we've been a bit, uh, you know, having some buzz. But, uh, you know, uh, and uh, we, my wife get to uh, put my son to bed. She came back. We're crying in the middle of an apartment. She's like, what's happening? She's like, oh, we touched some soul. Okay, we're crying about something that it, and then, you know, my wife's birthday, my mom's birthday. So I'm always like that. My wedding. You know, you, you surprise me every day. So no, no, but that's true. I thought you were going to say when you lost a bet to a friend or something. No, like, when I lost a bet, it's good. It's a charity. Wow. He may need it more when than me. When your son told you he loved you. No, like he wife. told me back. And I'm like, okay, that's... And then, well, yesterday we've been watching pictures with my wife. Uh, like, you know, it's been, we've been seven years together. So we've been watching pictures from the past. Oh, oh that, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's seven <laughs> years. That's a big deal. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we... <laughs> We've been watching pictures, and then, yeah, so we saw, like, my, when, when our son was born, and then, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, you know, so it's like this, yeah, but that's what life is about. I mean, if you're not emotional, I think it's not worth it. Listen, man, I, I couldn't agree more, and you know what? A lot of players, they come out, they do their job, they focus on the tennis, they leave. That's a job. But For me, it's not a job. It doesn't seem like that. One of the things you do so well, beautifully also, and you don't have to do this, you interact with the crowd quite a bit. So that must I just remember the times when we played without it. So I don't want to do that again during the COVID. So it was it was horrible to play without them. So now it's uh, every time you see a packed crowd, even though if it's a small court like court one here, but it's it's still beautiful. It's a different kind of appreciation. I guess so.
Now, Sasha, you're, you're sitting in this chair, and we have talked about this offline sometimes, but how do you think you would do if you had to put your analyst hat on and you had to... No, you know, I'll be bad. You know, if I'm above the cancellation and kicked out of the sport... We talked about it yesterday. I think you're and, above cancel culture. Yeah, so yeah you, that's what you told me. <laughs> Should I take your word? And then no, you, you're, you're, exactly. Your agent didn't like when I was pushing you in that direction because no, he wasn't no, no, sure no. what you were going to say. No, no, no. I will not do that. I'm not stupid, I guess. And uh, But yeah... It's tough, you know, because being an analyst, you got to be, you know, you got to really love that. You got to think that everyone is a good player. You got to analyze, analyze the shot of the players that you think they, you know, was lucky or something. You should not say that, you know, so no, that's not my thing. Okay. I'll stay away from that. Um, now, you keep talking about it's been a long year. It's been a successful year for, for sure. you. You've had, a, you've had a ton of wins. Um, put, some, put some good money into the bank account, too. It's been a, it's been a very good year. Like so my... Yannick Sinner said, money is not the thing. <laughs> With this brilliant year that you've had, how do you how do you play? You can't even keep a straight face when you say that. How will you enjoy some of this off season, the short off season that we have in this sport? Great, great amount. I mean, I'm gonna put aside my racket for a month okay. and uh, not even think about that. I'll go. We go always to the same to the same spot for the vacation, high high in the mountains, so that no one sees me there, and we enjoy our family time there. Mountains and more than a beach guy. Of course, I hate sun. Oh, wow. So Miami tournaments are tough for me. Like, you know, all this Australian Open is very tough because I'm, I try to avoid sun as much as possible. Like, in general, like, I don't like to be under the sun. Okay. Maybe only, like, you know, the sun that comes up in, in Europe about September or March, you know, that, that little bit, you know, when it's like 22 degrees, that's perfect for it's me. It's a little, little crispy. Not yes, yes, yes. Too not too, no, 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 like not even crispy. Just a little bit when you, when you have, you know, like a T-shirt and, and a hoodie on and you feel comfortable. Like, you know, 45 degrees in Miami or in Australia is tough. Yeah, so I'm more of a mountain guy. And I was, we were actually upset because we checked the weather this year because we go a bit earlier because I don't play the next week. And it's only like plus five degrees. So we used to be like minus five. And now it's plus five. So we're like, ah, it's not, it's not cold enough. We got to yeah, wait. Man, I don't know how you do it. But listen, when you go to the mountains, you have the beautiful time with the family. I hope you have a couple good cries. And, no, and I, I don't think I will. But yeah, we'll see. Now, so, he will, now, now he presents my, myself like I'm, I'm going home and crying 100%. All the time. <laughs> I'm going to say, you know, this Sash, we think he's all big and tough, but, but he's, I'm, he's I'm a sensitive guy. I'm going to promise you, if I'm still sitting here in the, uh, let's say, when I'm 35 plus and I finish my season here yep. and I finish my career here, I'll, I'll be crying here for sure. That's at, the, at, at, this, okay. at this tennis channel booth, I will be doing that you for come, sure. You come and do that here for sure. Yeah, but Listen. If, you're still, if, you're still, if you're still running the show. Uh, I'm not coming, you know, every time you're not there, I'm not coming here. almost. Oh, really? I came once in Wimbledon and the guy asked me why I'm wearing one sock longer than the other, so I was like, okay. <laughs> what, some of my best times are with you here. Sasha, I know, I know it was uh, making history for you to come today, so I appreciate it's you great. coming so fast. Did you, did you shower before you came? You came straight? Why are you, why are you, get, why are you trying to get this information? No, I'm just, I'm just curious. Did you, did you come straight? You have a quick... Uh... You picked me up from the court and like, come here. I didn't want to come. That's priorities. I appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sasha Bublik.